Well, we thank you so much for sharing so many of your stories, Ty. You're so insightful and honest. And just, I think you're going to help a lot of people with everything that you, you said during this interview. I, I really appreciate because I know how hard it is sometimes to come out and to speak about this. But like you said, it's more of us coming together and talking about all yes. of our lessons, the experiences that will help the younger batch of skaters and non-skaters. Right. So before right. we end, we want to end on a fun note. Okay. So Dave and I are going to say the name of someone from the skating world, and we want you to tell us the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear this person's name, okay? Okay. So we're going to start with Mr. Nix. Oh. I'm getting weepy. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional. Um, oh, my God. Respect. Respect. Mr. Nix, respect. Irina Rodina. Respect. Randy Gardner. Uh, oh my God, you guys are you guys are getting me. Um, respect is in there with Randy. Uh, soulmate. Um, oh my God. That's I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna start crying. I just I can't so not, I can understand spending so much of your life with somebody and. Mm -hmm. you just he's your partner on and off the ice in so many ways through good he times is, and, and he's, he's in there for me through through thick and thin pair skaters learn from this because he you know he had to sit and watch me go through my my stuff and he stuck with me so i would say with randy it's respect and loyalty and communication is getting better not perfect, but it's, you know, it's, it's baby steps with us. It's, that's just, that's, that's who we are. Yeah. How about Dick Button? Oh my gosh. These are all great ones. These are, th this is, this is family. You guys are hitting my family. Yeah. Dick Button. Um, always good to tie in Randy, even when we weren't at our best. So we were lucky. We were lucky to have him in our corner. Uh, cause I think, you know, back then he could kind of make you or break you. And we, we, we were, on, we, we got, we got, we pull, I think we pulled at his heartstrings, especially with what happened in Lake Placid. Yeah. You always want to have Dick on your side. I remember yes. that. What about, uh, the other commentator, Jim McKay? Jim McKay, uh, miss him dearly. Another one who was in our corner um, I, I consider that, you know, that was part of our skating family. He, you know, at, like Dick Button, even when Randy and I weren't 100%, you know, say at Nationals or Worlds, they always found something great to say about us. You know, yes, they, they, they talked about, the, you know, the, the mistakes, but always were complimentary. So, and, and he, I miss him so much as so many skaters do. We, you know, we miss that, that ABC family, Dick Button, Jim McKay, and Chris Schenkel. How about Jojo Starbuck? Oh my gosh, Idol. Um, you guys are going to make me cry. Um, jo Hopefully they're good tears. Yes, Happy yeah. tears. Oh my gosh, Jojo, um, my pair skating Idol, she and Kenny. They were, they, we, we were so lucky to have been able to see them train before they turned professional and, and be able to train with the same coach. You know, it, it, you can't get any better than that. And to this day, she is, she is so at the top of my list of, of, of leg skating legends and people who I idolized and, and just res once again, respect, respect. Okay. And Linda Fratiani. Oh, my girl, my girl, my teammate, my, we, she's also from the San Fernando Valley. So we were the two Valley girls. Mm -hmm. uh, I, ha I have so much to thank Linda for. She and she introduced me to my very first boyfriend, Christopher Knight. He was our uh, next name. Next, yeah, he's our next. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the same wavelength, Ty. <laughs> she uh, she um, introduced me to Chris Knight, Peter Brady from the Brady Bunch. Um, Christopher still to this day is a great friend. Um, one I reach out to, one I reached out to after the Olympics, one who listened, one who tried to guide me and teach me about Hollywood and the, and the pitfalls of Hollywood. So what, you know, Christopher's up there on my list and still to this day, we're, we're best of friends. How about PETA? PETA. 
PETA, PETA. Were you naked for PETA? Yes, I was naked for Pete. I was I was as naked as I could be, and uh, you know I was about to get arrested, which could have been cool too. Um, I got some flack for that Pete event, but with it, um, it was all about not wearing fur. Mm -hmm. So the flack I got, and we did this in in New York at Rockefeller Center. Um, at the beginning of a public session, no one knew what was going on. There was some press going into it saying I was going to be naked. Um, you can't be naked. So I got as naked as I could. Um, but the flack I got from the public was, yes, I was in no fur, but I was in leather boots, skating boots. So that was, you know, they, then they, they, you know, they had something to, to pick at. Well, she's not, she's in leather. So it kind of, you know, but... I didn't do it for them. I did. I really, this was for the animals for me. So I, I was, it was a, a wonderful moment. Um, I was scared to death before I stepped on the ice. Um, probably the most press I've ever gotten alone. I mean, it was, it was paparazzi plus it was amazing. So I did it for the right reasons. And, you know, it was a special moment. It was, you know, I, I felt very strong and powerful that day. So no regrets, no regrets. Perfect, no regrets. And our final person, interesting person, is getting Tatiana Tarasova. Oh, that's an interesting one. Um, legend? The, 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 the coach, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, legend, pa uh, powerful. I would say powerful. Um, and just, a, you know, a, a great coach. But just when, when I see her, or, or even just hearing the name, I, it, it's a very powerful name. And, and what a track record she has. So, Well, what a track record you have, Ty. Yeah. <laughs> you are wonderful. Thank you so much again for joining us, for sharing your story, and for being the first guest on the Skating yeah. Lesson podcast. We really, uh -huh. really appreciate it. I appreciate it too, you guys. Thank you so much, and good luck with the next one. And I just, I hope people, especially the young girls, will take this and learn from it. I really do. I'm in their corner. So am I. Thank yeah. you. We'd obviously like to thank Ty Babylonia for all of her time and insight today. We'd also like to thank Kevin Kwasniewski for our amazing graphics. And if you have anything you want to talk to us about, any lessons you want to share, send us an email at theskatinglesson at gmail.com. We'd like to thank all of you for tuning into the first ever episode of the Skating Lesson Podcast. And we'd like to remind you to always hold an edge. And, and look, look sexy. sexy. Bye, guys.